It's important to have strong leaders in our public schools today more than ever. We all know that the quality of education that a young person gets uh, is grounded in what happens in that classroom and what happens in that school. The research is very clear that strong teachers and strong principals are not going to work for very long unless there is a big picture, holistic, strong leader, and that takes the form of the superintendent of the school district. It's one of the most demanding leadership roles out there. We've got to do everything we can to prepare the very best people we can to take on these unique challenges. There's not another leadership challenge like the superintendency. Good morning, everybody. How are you? It's good to see you again. The Aspiring Superintendents Program is a leadership development program. The focus is not on specific technical skills, how to write a budget, as much as it is having these potential leaders look deeply into themselves and understand who they are as a leader, what their strengths are, what their deficits are, and then how to, to enhance uh, what they bring to the table for school boards. My name is Dr. Delilah Jackson. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources for Pitt County Schools. I started out my career as a fifth grade teacher, then as an assistant principal, principal, and now my current position in Pitt County. I'm a people person, and I also have a combination of instruction. So in wanting to go to that next level, I do one day have a desire to lead a district, and this was a perfect opportunity for me to learn about myself as a leader and what areas I needed to work on, my strengths and my weaknesses, and develop. And that's what I feel this program has offered me at this point in time. This has been really a self-awareness initiative for us as leaders. Having the experiences and the dialogue in this class has been very informative for me as a person. It has been very informative for me professionally and has allowed me opportunities to seek growth and professional development. You get immediate feedback from some of the instruments that we've used um, that I can take into my current work environment to help me to be much more reflective as a leader. And this is really designed to create that environment that one is safe, but two is very challenging for them and pushes them and leads them and encourages them to do that hard work, which is, you know, what kind of leader am I and what kind of leader do I want to be? How do others see me and can I do this in a way that makes a difference for children? As a young student, that I had a third grade teacher that really just captivated my attention and made me believe that I could be anything that I wanted to be. I grabbed a hold of that and that really just kind of spurred my career. Leaders need to continue to keep our teachers enthused about the job that they do and continue to protect public education by speaking uh, on behalf of public education and letting everyone to know just, just how important it is that our children have the opportunity to have a good solid foundation and that foundation is built on the public education system. The state of North Carolina needs an organization like this looking at aspiring leaders. We have individuals who um, have strong leadership experiences and yet there has not been a transition program that takes these potential leaders from where they are as number two or three in the district to being the actual leader. And that set of uh, skills that are needed there and the experiences are so important for success. We not only want these individuals to be selected, but we want them to be successful.